Hello, this is DJ from GaragePharm.net and today I'll be showing you a quick tip on how to super quickly model picture frames for your interior scene. So let's say we have a kitchen scene like this and we have an empty wall here that we need some decoration for. So let's make a new scene and to model our frames we need to enable two useful add-ons. Let's go to the user preferences and let's type in import images as planes, let's select this and also let's go to the add curve section and add curve extra objects. Let's save our user settings and let's get modeling. Let's add our images. Just with one click you import images as planes to our scene. Let's add a curve. Bezier circle. Let's go to the edit mode and change our handles to vector. Let's rotate them on the z-axis 45 degrees and scale them first on the x-axis then on the y-axis to fit our image. Now let's add another curve but as a bevel to the first one. So let's also go to the edit mode with this curve. Let's change the handles to vector and rotate them also 45 degrees on the z-axis. Let's move it here maybe. And now let's move this corner here a little bit downwards. You can see our profile changes. Let's make it a little bit round like this. Now let's select our frame and let's add a modifier air split so you can see that it shades correctly right now now we've got our picture and the frame ready so let's add a glass pane here so that the picture gets some nice reflections let's duplicate this curve here and let's remove the bevel object from this and make this curve two-dimensional so that it's really a plane. Let's move it a little bit up so that it doesn't intersect with our picture. Now let's add the material to our glass pane. Let's call it glass pane. And let's split our window here. Let's go make it the node editor. Let's move the shader and let's add shader mix, shader transparent and shader glossy. Let's connect this like that and for the factor here let's use input layer weight facing and blend 0.1 just to give us little nice reflections and let's change it to sharp. Now we can close this and we can select the curves here and duplicate them to fit the rest of our pictures. If we want to we can easily adjust the size of our frame to any kind of picture. Just going to the edit mode and moving some handles around. Pretty easy. I've arranged our pictures in a little composition quite like this. Let's select all of these frames. Let's make a group of these and let's call it frames. Okay and now let's go to our kitchen scene and let's add a group instance. 